2409. Even if it does not contradict the provisions of civil law, any form of unjustly taking and keeping the property of others is against the seventh commandment. Thus, deliberate retention of goods lent or of objects lost, business fraud, paying unjust wages, forcing up prices by taking advantage of the ignorance or hardship of another. The following are also morally illicit. Speculation in which one contrives to manipulate the price of goods artificially in order to gain an advantage to the detriment of others. Corruption in which one influences the judgment of those who must make decisions according to law. Appropriation and use for private purposes of the common goods of an enterprise. Work poorly done. Tax evasion, forgery of checks and invoices, excessive expenses and waste, willfully damaging private or public property is contrary to the moral law and requires reparation. 24.10. Promises must be kept and contracts strictly observed to the extent that the commitments made in them are morally just. A significant part of economic and social life depends on the honoring of contracts between physical or moral persons. Commercial contracts of purchase or sale, rental or labor contracts. All contracts must be agreed to and executed in good faith. 2411. Contracts are subject to commutative justice which regulates exchanges between persons and between institutions in accordance with a strict respect for their rights. Commutative justice obliges strictly. It requires safeguarding property rights, paying debts, and fulfilling obligations freely contracted. Without commutative justice, no other form of justice is possible. One distinguishes commutative justice from legal justice, which concerns what the citizens owes in fairness to the community, and from distributive justice, which regulates what the community owes its citizens in proportion to their contributions and needs. 2412. In virtue of commutative justice, reparation for injustice committed requires the restitution of stolen goods to their owner. Jesus blesses Zacchaeus for his pledge, If I have defrauded any one of anything, I restore it fourfold. Those who directly or indirectly have taken possession of the goods of another are obliged to make restitution of them or to return the equivalent in kind or in money. If the goods have disappeared as well as the profit or advantages their owner would have legitimately obtained from them. Likewise, all who in some manner have taken part in a theft or who have knowingly benefited from it, for example, those who ordered it, assisted in it, or received the stolen goods, are obliged to make restitution in proportion to their responsibility and to their share of what was stolen.